Okay, here we are at Pin Canuck. We escaped that battle with only 48 troops left after we sacrificed some to get it right, to get away. And we have too much stuff versus the amount of storage capacity we have. So I'm going to hold on to every horse I have right now. I'm going to sell these harnesses. And anything that's not better than what I'm currently wearing, or Corinne is currently wearing. I made some more tweaks to the Black Shark so Synapse software that came with it. It's new to me, I'm just learning it. I hope the voice sounds a little better anyway. All right, none of this stuff is better than what I'm wearing, but let's try Corinne. Looks like these mittens are better, and these are better still. These boots are better. And we will also check for this V in body armor, or this V in armor here in a moment. I think everything is good. All right, let's set this again and go back to Hans. See if there's anything he can wear. Yep, this is obviously better. We need that. Hat is better. These mittens are better. These boots are better. That might be it as far as equipment that's better. Yeah, that's going to be it. Okay, let's reset it and check for Corinne. And this is obviously better. Her Batanian bear pelt is better. And it here, all right, mittens. Fine horseman's boots. Waxed leather cap. And I think that's going to be it. Okay, let's sell this stuff. And what else we got here? Nothing that I want to use. So that's profit, 7,000 so far. Legendary long fine steel spear. Now this is heavier than what I'm using. It's slightly less thrust speed and significantly less handling. So it's a little more damage and it's a little longer. not any better typically I like now let's look at this this is a one hand and two hand only this you can do one hand and two handed and spear brace hmm let's think about that typically I do like the long the length uh, but I also like when you can it has better handling and better thrust speed but I think in this case, I'm going to go with the legendary long, because I will fight on foot sometimes, and I think that spear brace will come in handy, this one right here, uh, when there's incoming cavalry. Yeah, that's and, and you do want, if you're going to use it that way, you do want a great length on it. So I'm going to hold on to, hold on to this just in case. I'm definitely going to start using this one now. All right, so we'll hold on to that. Uh, again, this axe is not any better. So we'll sell this stuff. All right, and that should be everything. 11.6. And it just turns out there is a tournament here. So let's wait a moment while we kill all the way up. And hopefully we can get in on this tournament tomorrow. I guess we'll find out here shortly. There's the rooster. It, I guess make sure she's healed. Yes. All right, so let's enter the arena. Look at the leaderboard. We're still number one. Galadog is at second. And we'll join 
half scale barding. Now that I think, yeah, that's what I have now. If I sold that, what would it be? Nine fifty. I think nine. I think it's more important that we leave. We're still getting that one renown because I need to go back and do some more recruiting because we lost all of our troops there. Half of it, almost half of our troops. All right, he just declared peace. The Southern Empire. All right, that's good. Well, we're still at war with the Vlandians. All right. Well, at least I don't have to worry about being attacked on this side of the map now. Let's go get some... How fast are we moving? 5.5? And I think we need... We definitely need... Whoa, look at that. I barely escaped him. I was not going to... I did not expect any Valandians coming out of these towns here. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, although, since we know he just came out of there, let's check. See if there's any Britannian hobbies in there. Uh, I have right now five. Let's take this 17. And we need some Sumter horses. For storage. And since we are here, we're going to run up to Swinrin. And then to Lin, uh, Glintor. Because they both sell Batanian hobbies. Buy products. Take these six and that Sumter horse. Then eventually I'll just get rid of everything else. We'll have just Sumters, painting hobbies, and any noble steeds that we come across. I'll probably keep them. Okay, that brings us up to 34. Retaining hobbies is still not enough. That's 0.69 footmen on horses. That's that's a vast improvement. To, I think we had 30.3, so that's almost double. Let's go down here and get some. First, who are the Sturgeons at war with? We've still got eight influence to get money from the Western Empire, but if the Sturgeon, oh, there it were with the Batanians. Okay, this, we may, after I replenish my forces here, 15 is what I want, I need horses. Horses, let's come down here to Cranor Rock. We may, as we're running around replenishing our forces, we may uh, burn through all this mercenary uh, influence. And if we do, we may leave the Western Empire service. And see if we can join the Sturgeons. Five. That'll give us ten horses. And if there's anything higher than the first level of O Truck here, we'll, we'll take it. Nope. So we're going to have to take regular recruits again. We'll just swing through these two and then up to Omor. Take that. Everything, actually. We're at 4.4. Take both of those. And we'll... A little less luck. Okay, that gives us about 50 infantry, 15 archers, and it will give us 8 horses. So we will run up to Av Castle here, see if there's anything other than the, the basic Otruk. We still need two more. Nothing there at all. Alright, we just increased the tan clan tier three. 
That, now, that's unusual. There's absolutely nothing there to recruit. Run over to uh, the Voresta. And this is going to be a problem. I Remember how when we started I said I don't want to put any workshops in Varcheg because it typically falls very fast to either the Batanians or the Valandians. And here we are, Varcheg being sieged by the Batanians. All right, I'm going to take both of you and one of you. So we'll drop you, put you up here, and that should do it. Now, where is... I've got an idea. Now that we're... Now that we are clan level three... First, I want to run up and drop off this wood. We'll burn through that wood, and then I'll, I think I'll switch over to We're not looking for a, foot. a tannery. Because, like I said, in battles, we, we always get meat. We always get some animals. Mm normally I won't say always but if we enter battle there's nothing to sell really they didn't oh they just gave up so we don't get any of their stuff all right so we've got enough money to buy another workshop also uh, if we're going to go full bore where, let me find out where Ragnbad is. Last seen near Gersega's castle. Okay. It's over here. Let's come in this direction. 5.7. Let me see why I'm here. Just Batania. How long has it been going on? Don't know. Let's go into Omor, since I don't think we stopped there. I have half a mind to go ahead and recruit up to the max. We'll take that archer. Eh. What is the prize? But you know what? We're going into this one. The Black Heart. If I can get that for free, that is a very good two-handed axe. Uh, there is better. There's one called Avalanche, which is better. It swings at 87 as opposed to this 77, but it's slightly shorter. I think it's 116 or 117. But at any rate, if we can get this for free, then that's a good deal. Let's go for it. Oh, I got some throwing weapons. Oh. Again, I don't want to mess around and get... Possibly two on one situations. Let's get right in there. I do want to. If I can get some skill with throwing, that'll be fine. Pick these up. Oh, I can't. Gotta move around so I can see him without hitting my own guy. Ugh. Ah, let me just get right up on top of him. There we go. Next. All right. My wife and a lord against me and a brigand. Well, this is... Now, what I tend to do here is... Ooh, I'm going to let her fight that guy so she can improve her skill set. And I'll fight this guy. Oh, he don't want to fight me. And hopefully she doesn't defeat him real fast and come over here... And I'm fighting two on one. There we go. Ah, she didn't. Good. Now, sorry. But I've got to get some skills here on that. Get that sword up. Shield, I mean. Oh, she, of course, is faster than me. Come on, girl. Get a few hits in so you can get some skills. Ah! 
All right. Oh. All right, me and that brigand versus a horse raider and an outrider. Horses. Okay. Let's if I can get a hit on him right off the bat. Again, trying to help. I know how bad spears are, so I'm trying to help my guy. With the spear. And, in fact, I'm going to get off this horse. I'm going to pick up that spear. Good hit, 45. Let's get rid of the shield so we can do maximum damage. There we go. 170 in athletics. I'll take it. All right, me and the first the brigand. No throwing weapons, no spears, just an axe and a shield. There we go. Okay. I got that black heart. Now I have a two-handed weapon and didn't have to pay anything for it. Plus, I got some earnings from betting. We want to lock that bad boy down. He will come in handy. And decreased range accuracy penalty. I think I put that there just to have it. So let's drop that out. Give her that, since that's the, we'll lock that one, there, now you've got decreased range accuracy penalty, and that was a good tournament, we finally got something useful, weapon wise, out of a tournament, and the reason I went there was to recruit, there's no other troops, let's go up here, oh it's smoking, so let's go back down here. I think I would rather, who was that? Oh, I missed him. I'm debating about whether to join the Sturgeons as a mercenary or straight up join as a vassal. Okay, if we're going all 114 troops because we did level the clan up, that means I want to have... Some more horses and some more archers. So let's go to 15 horses, 20 archers, and the rest can be infantry. We've got 10 right now. 13. Well, go over here to Cranorog. Is Milk Org. That's how I pronounce that because it is Is Milk Org. And I've already forgotten how many I had. 13. 14, 15. And I did say we want to go to 20 archers. We're going to upgrade him. So we're now in a deficit. So we've got to do something. We haven't yet got rid of all the influence from the Western Empire, though. I do want to burn that off before I leave. Otherwise, it's just a waste. Be a little bit of money. Are they, I think this is Buck. No, it looks like they're still sieging. Okay. Excellent. We'll take all of this. And now we're going to go up to Revel. Recruiting along the way and drop off that wood. They're 340 and they're 7. I don't see any armies approaching. Alright, there's my first child. 
two armies just formed, though. We've only got one left. I do not... I don't like to use the Sturgeon Line Breakers. I don't... Just in, in general, no matter who I'm playing, I don't like using troops without shields. Personal preference. We'll take everybody here. Now we're going to enter the warehouse and drop off this wood. We're going to check see if they have any... We're going to check see if they have any horses here. I'm going to take all 25 Sumter horses. I'm going to sell the mule. I just don't like mules. And we're going to see what's up with this tournament. I want to make sure that I tell Revel to draw that 75 from the warehouse. So we're going to click get input from warehouse. And we'll see if that actually starts running. And while I'm thinking about it, let's see if there's any wood on the market. None whatsoever. So that is why it was halted. There's no wood here. Which I knew. Now let's see what's up with the uh, tournament. Wrapped helmet with mail. I know that's not going to be as good as what we have. So let's just leave. I want to run back here. Because the chances are no one has been recruiting from these two towns. These two villages way back here. So I may be able to get a little higher tier troops. Yes. See, no one has been recruiting from here. All right, I want to go ahead and take these three guys and all of these, and then I will get rid of some recruits. There we go. So that now gives us 18 archers. I still need two archers and 18 horse. So I still need... Two more horse. There's one archer. Well, we'll just drop. We'll also take these two. I might find something better at the other village over here. But for now, we'll drop recruits. And we'll see if there's anything better over here. I, I, if I can get a higher tier and I'm in the area and I don't have to do a lot of traveling, I'd rather do that than bringing the recruits all the way up. Here's two, three, four, five, and both of them. Now we can drop recruits. All right, so we've got the veteran. That gives us 13. And seven will give us 20. And here we've got 15, 20. All right, that's good. Everybody else? Yep, excellent. Now, we're full. We'll run back down here. I'm going to stop. Every time you stop in a town, the location of people updates. I'm going to stop here, then see where Rag and Bat is at. We've already burned through all of our influence mercenary influence so let's drop out here and then see where rag and bad is that last scene i don't know where that's at right there okay wow your sega's castle all right well let's run down here mm. i don't know if i have to talk to garius to leave the western empire but let's see where he's at. Last seen near Zianica. That's way down here. Head down in that direction. And also, since we've make sure I save. Caladog just won another tournament. He wins about seven more. I'm gonna have to start looking at doing some more tournaments. They're going to get Varcheg. Darius just created an army. Which means he will be slow so we can run him down. Ask him to 
tell him that I want to leave his service. Wait a minute. Make sure he wasn't just taken. Nope, I don't see his name there. What we will do is look for any Western Empire forces around this area. Because he was last seen around here. I don't see any. Let's stop in Rote to update. There's Ragnvad right there. So we're not... We're in the right area. If they're both in this area, that's excellent. Okay, let's update. Arpatis, where is that at? Right here. Well, he's gone away. We'll run him down because he did form an army. It means he should be traveling slow. Hopefully he's heading toward... That might be him right there. That is him right there. You know, I forgot we're a mercenary for him, so I probably could have seen that icon the whole time and just didn't realize it. Look at that. Polandians. Are they about to attack... That'd be, that'd be suicide if they do. Unless they got a relief, another army coming in. Alright, Garrus. I need to leave your service. Oh, he's about... Oh, no. Oh, no. They're winning. Okay. I thought he was about to get captured. Now let me talk to him. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Uh, my lord, I wish to be released from my oath to you. Hmm, has yours become burdensome, Hans? It is unusual to request release from Amich, but in respect of your fine service, I will not hold you if you truly wish to end it. Though you will be sorely missed. Alright, it is something I must do, my lord. Then you are sure. Also be aware that if you leave my service, you should be surrendering to me all the... I don't have any thieves. Boom. We have left Western Empire. It is an honor to serve you. Got to tell him that. Got to get on, stay on good terms with him. Now let's go find Ragnvad. We're free to move around now. No one's at war with us, and there's no bandit party that can threaten us at the size we are now. We are bleeding money though, so we definitely need to get find Ragnvad. A lot going on around here. I should have stopped on Legay to, to update where his location. Let's do that. Because he could be anywhere. We saw him here, but that doesn't mean that's where he is now. Alright. Rattlerod Castle. Alright. Oh, I'm out of food too. I need to buy some food. We'll buy 50 grain. I don't want to run out of food again. And the butter. But I'm going to stop at Clegg Ban and pick up if there's anything other than grain and butter. I'm trying to get that. No, nope, we'll take some more butter. There should be some grapes up here. Yeah, here's some grapes. Trying to get that bonus for uh, different types of food, morale bonus, as we're going to go into combat. Butter, grapes, and cheese. Take it all. And since we're here, we're right next to this town, we'll buy some Batanian hobbies. And we'll see what kind of food they got here. All right, we want some fish. We get 20 fish. All the olives. The meat. And all the beer. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to wait for that tournament. I do want to grab some more horses, though. 
we really do need to get enough horses for at least one horse for every foot troop. So right now we're at 0.35 footmen on horses. We want to increase that as much as we can. So we'll buy from both of these towns, Batani and Hobby. And we were at 0.35. Let's see what we're at now. Equipment on horses. Now 4.6. So we're getting better. Now let's find where's he at? Varcheg. They kept Varcheg. That's surprising. I thought for sure they were going to lose Varcheg. Now I'm just going to go ahead and declare allegiance. I'm not going to be a mercenary anymore. He's got to be in the keep. He's not. All right, hang on. Hang on. Phantom Rod Castle still. Or, oh, I see. It's being besieged, so he's coming down here to relieve the siege. What What have we got? We've got a Batanian army. Oh, no. He's going to be captured. Why, oh why, oh why? And I cannot help. I cannot help. There goes Ragnvad. Now let's see if they put him in this castle. Can I talk? One of your prisoners? Let me talk to army Stop leader. there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are. Anyway. Okay, my name is Hans, madam. May I ask your name? Alright, that's who you are. Can I talk to one of your prisoners? Be my guest. He doesn't have him. Okay, never mind. That means he's in this army. He was captured by this guy. Talk to the army leader. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. My name is Hans, sir. May I ask your name? Okay. Can I talk to one of your prisoners? He doesn't have him either. Now, there was only two Lord armies there. He's got to be in one of those armies. How is it possible that not... Let's look at this. Can I go in here? Go to the dungeon. There's no one in the dungeon. Where in the world... Oh, maybe they released him after the battle. I didn't even check for that. Let's see what it says. Taken prisoner by Munzer. Now, Munzer is another lord in the army. He wasn't taken prisoner by the leader of the army. So I need to speak to another lord in the army. Let's see which if Munzer's in this army. Talk to other members. Munzer. Where are you, buddy? Right there. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Hans, sir. I talk to one of your prisoners. Be my guest. I want to talk to Ragnvad. He is here. That's what I wanted to know. What is he wearing? Something I like sus. Do you have any jump on surprise? Actually, never mind. Okay, well, at least now I know where he's at. Let's follow and see where he's going. If they, if they're going to drop him off somewhere, they're just going to run around and recruit. We can't afford to do this for very long. I think we're just going to have to wait. It doesn't look like they're going to drop him off anywhere. I thought if they put him in a thief, I'd be able to break him out and have good uh, standing with him. But we'll see what happens in the next video. Ciao.